So, Jodie, how did you get into golf? Uh, my father gave me a golf lesson when I was 11 years old um, and I was absolutely furious because I really wanted that underwater yellow Walkman head thingy and I didn't get it. I got a golf lesson. So I was furious, but I went down, played and fell in love with the sport. What handicap do you play off? Uh, 18. Okay. Yeah. So is, it, has that been coming down over the last couple of years? No, it's it, been going up going over the last up? couple of years because uh, I just had a baby. So yeah. yeah, I haven't been out as much as I should have been. Has he had a golf club in his hand yet? He has had a golf club in his hand, yes, because his father is a polo player. So he's either got a polo stick or a golf club, a little mini golf club, which is really cute. And he's, he's quite good. He's got the old hand-eye, you know, coordination. And out of all the sports that I've done, so from polo to motor racing to golf, I'm like, right, you're not doing any of the others. You're becoming a golfer. <laughs> so they're kind of lower class sports that you're into? Um, I could do table tennis. Okay. I'll take <laughs> I'm really good at pool and I can play darts. Fantastic. Um, who's the coolest person you've ever played with? Um, I mean, cool as in I just was enamoured by their golf swing and just the most incredible kind of solid golfer, beautiful golf swing was Luke Donald. I was very lucky enough to play with Monty. Um, also played with Ernie Els, he's amazing. Also quite nice to have someone on a similar kind of height level as me. It's funny you should mention Monty, because yes. my next question um, is linking to Strictly Come Dancing, and I was going to ask you if you could choose a single golfer to take it on. It would be Adam Scott, wouldn't it, for me? Gorgeous. Actually, Alvaro is very nice as well. I played with him at the BMW at uh, Wentworth. How about the nicest courses you've played on? <gasps> well, the nicest courses, um, yeah, I mean, we're here today very luckily enough the most beautiful course, which is Brockett Hall. But I also love playing kind of where my family were brought up in Barbados, so they've got some gorgeous courses out there, Sandy Lane, Royal Westmoreland. Um, doing the Lynx courses up in Scotland for the Dunhill Lynx are amazing. Um, but I think my favourite would possibly be between Brockett Hall and, and King's Barnes. Is there any courses you haven't had the chance to play but you'd like to? Pebble Beach. Okay. That would definitely be right up there. So would you rather walk down the 18th at Pebble or walk the catwalks of oh, Rome and New York? Oh, that's really tough. It depends what they're paying me. <laughs> Do you watch a lot of golf on TV? Yes, I watch every golf on TV. I don't move when it you know, comes down to the, to the big tournaments. Yeah, you've obviously played alongside some big names. Who would make up your dream four ball? Oh, dream four ball. Do they have to be golfers or can no. they just be really interesting people? Anybody. Okay, David Attenborough. Um, then I'd have to say Sevi Ballesteros. Um, I would then have to say, just for a laugh, Stephen Fry, because I'd just love to see him with a golf club. And then Ayrton Senna. Fantastic, good group. If you, if you met yourself at a party, what would you think? Gosh, you're tall. <laughs> <laughs> Well, thank you very much for speaking to us today. That's great. Thank you very much. Pleasure.